Well, here we are in the mountains. Kent and Kelsey from MrTruck.com and we're by Estes Park running around up here with this new Acadia. This is in 2018. It's an SLT2, so it's pretty loaded. It's like one step down from a Denali. And it holds six people. It's got four captain's chairs. I love it. It's a V6, 3.6 V6. And Kelsey, how much power does that V6 have? We have 310 horsepower to 271 foot-pounds of torque. Well, that's cool, and it's geared, you know, for fuel mods, like a 316. It's a six-speed. So come join us while we go up and down the mountains and just see how well it tows. It's rated 4,000 pounds, and we're towing about a little under 3,000 pounds. Cool. Mr. Truck here. I have reviewed trailer tires and then I'm going to review truck tires. Cooper sent me this set of all terrain. These are called the Discoverer AT3s. It's an all terrain tire. It's got five big grooves with a big channel between each one of them for clearing out the snow and the mud. We're going to put it to the test, see how well it does in snow and mud. It's got ribs on those real deep treads and, of course, the sights. It's a 10 ply radial and we're putting this on this 2012 F250 Ford see how well they do but this is a company Cooper's been around since 1914 not a new kid on the block there's only two companies that actually are headquartered in the USA and make them in the USA and one of them is Cooper an old company that knows what they're doing they're getting very very popular now so we're going to test these out pull heavy loads with trailers see how the well or the wear pattern is on them so come watch the review it's gonna be a long-term review so you'll see us off and on throughout the year Oh, there's that, uh, the hatch button. Tells you if you want it open all the way or if you want it open three quarters. Yeah, it's kind of so you weird, can but that. Yeah, I guess there must be a demand for it. And then uh, here, got all the standards, bells and whistles. Well, it doesn't have automatic tilt and telescope. It's just got the manual. Yeah, I think it's kind of typical for the size. Mm -hmm. They do have the 10 way powered seats, which are nice. So it's electric on both seats, on the front seats, I do believe. Yeah, I think it's eight power, eight way. Is it eight instead of 10? Yeah, 10 would confuse me, but I think it's eight. <laughs> <laughs> GMC, it's six speed automatic. Yeah, I mean, it didn't, I actually fit in there. It's got over the knobs. Too. Yeah, yeah. Makes them easy to grip. I think you fit in every vehicle, but actually I fit in this one. Yeah. Well, let's check out that captain's chairs in the second row. So they've got the captain's chairs in the back seat. Yeah. Oh, and they've got the temp control and lots of room. I mean, for that being all the way back. Yeah, we need Chris here because he would probably fit in that back seat. I think I fit. fit in the back seat, I do believe. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Well, let's check out the third row because it's one of those ones you pull buttons and all. Oh, well, I hear thunder. How Alrighty, so okay. for the, the back captain's chairs. Well, these are a, b a bench, a back split bench. bench, yeah. But yeah, pull that. Yeah, it's all a manual thing, but it's easy to do. It's, yeah, it's actually pretty. Pops that head rest down, which is cool. And then you got all that cargo space, which is good. And you're discovering all kinds of stuff. I have no yeah. idea what that is. I don't know what these are, but it's a latch of some sort. Oh, oh there, look at that. It makes a front let's see can. Yeah, do the other one. Oh, wow. That's what they do. Oh, cool. Here, do that. I'll, I'll pull it up. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, so you can really get a big cargo space by the yeah. time you do this other one. And you found the lever. Yep, so the lever does. Oh, that's just awesome. Lay seat, so <laughs> when you shoot, you could fit a okay. little air mattress or something and go camping in here, too. Yeah, now what's underneath the kind of a trunk space? Trunk space. It's got a rubber. Oh, uh, look at all that. Yeah, it's compartments. Is there a jack in here somewhere? Or? I don't know what's below. It's styrofoam. It, it ties down, but there's a little cubby hole over there. I was holding groceries. I couldn't figure out what it was. It's got a drain plug. Oh, is that what that is? Oh, yeah. Nope, nope, it's not. That's probably what holds probably some of this stuff in. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty. We're just adaptable. taking the truck apart, guys. Yeah, yeah. I have no idea what the jack Same. is, but it's not a beer. Yeah, it's, it's got, not a beer cart. It's got a strap and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Well, that's convenient for a lot of. This is really oh, a, a useful, versatile. Yeah. 
So this has got to come out somehow because there's got to be a fuse block back here. What's that button up there? This? Yeah, what that's is That's a USB that? charger. Oh. It's just a charger. Well, that's plug. nice. Yeah, it's got coolings in the front between the seats. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Let's pull that up and see how hard it is to get through that other seat to the back seat. It's always an interesting thing with these. Yeah, cool. All right, where's the button? Oh, it's over. Yeah. There it is. I know so there's, got, there's always a button. I know. You got power up, power down, power around. So let's get see. To the back seat. Yeah, see if you can get to that third row because I probably can't. Oh. So the seat oh, slides, slides forward, forward on that rat track, and then there's your runway to get back there. Here's the question, though: Will you... Do small people fit here? <laughs> oh. So my knees are at the back of the seat. So this is definitely going to be kid seating back here. Yeah, but... I bet you that's the plan. But you know, I fit in these in these second row captain's chairs pretty well. Well, yeah, there's so I like that. But there. you're right. Yeah, that would be that's either really cargo in. space or kid space. Let's see if these can just move forward if they're like adjustable seats. Yeah, a kid could crawl between there. Well, you're not a kid, but you crawl between there. I couldn't do that. But oh no, oh, they just recline. They decline. <laughs> well, that makes it comfortable. Nope, they just recline. Yeah, it's better than most oh. planes I get on. I can fold forward right here. Too, Good deal. So seatbelts for six, but that would be four adults, two kids. Four yeah, adults, two kids, that's, definitely. That's workable. Yep. I use every single square inch in there. Okay. This thing's always amazing to me. It's got dual exhaust. They're all chrome tip. Dual exhaust for a V6. The 20 inch Michelin wheels. Cool. Now that fender well, it's almost like a square fender well. They're different. You know it's a GMC. Now, this Acadia, which is an SLT2, it's a V6, six-speed automatic. It has this knob for different modes. You got basically two-wheel drive, even though it is an all-wheel drive. And four-wheel drive, I guess when it locks the transfer case in or the center diff. And then here's sport mode. And this is like snow mode. And this is trailer tow mode. So all you do is move it once. Now it's an all-wheel drive. Four by four. Up here. That is sport mode. One more over. That's snow mode. Then what I ran it in with the trailers, of course, is tow haul mode. And this has got the buttons right here for shutting off the backup beeper. And this is for lane departure, which I'm getting used to now. Cool. I just love this. I don't know if it's a metal grain or what it is. Looks pretty cool. Now up here you got your manual shifter, positive and negative. So you actually have to shift it into low, not dry, but low. And then you have the manual shifting, which is cool to hold your power. Kelsey liked using that coming down the hill with the trailer. Well, Kelsey, now we've got this Cimarron North Star two horse slant load that we're towing. It's got the drop downs with the guard. And you can reach those, and you're yeah. five foot what? I'm five three. Five three. And so you can reach the latch, and that's good. They're light. Yeah. Super light. Very well made trailer. Beautiful welds on this. They've gone to these aluminum wheels, the standard on these, which I really like. A lot of times that's what makes the look of the trailer is the wheels, you know. It's it's cool. But then the big doors on the back, and I think it's about six and a half foot wide looking at the fenders. But you got a strap. Oh, your big horse would climb right in there. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Plenty of room for two horses and some hay. Yeah, or an ATV or yeah. motorcycles. <laughs> you can get everything. Out there. Yeah, that's awesome. Of course, LED lights everywhere. Everywhere. And we got this from Trans West Truck Trader RV there in Frederick. Literally. And they're all LEDs. It does light up. I may have to turn on the switch on the truck. Right here. Right here. Okay. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Cool LEDs. Yes, indeedy. They've got the heavy-duty mats on the floor and the walls for the kick wall. And it's got the, the good latch, like a semi has for your big doors. Cam latches. A window in the back. You get plenty of ventilation in this trader, and that's what it's all about this time of the year. 
Well, they've got the four windows instead of just the two. Yeah, you got them on each side. They all slide. Yeah. Hey, man, this has got a giant tack room. Must be at least a, is that a four foot door or a three foot door? It looks awfully big. And then inside here, besides the saddle rack, you got all kinds of stuff. Your spare tires in here out of the weather. It's got a regular circuit board, so if you have to work on your wiring. Is there lights in here too? There is. Oh yeah, you got lights, lights everywhere. <laughs> and this one even has the water tank. The water tank. Yeah. And the hose. And yeah, all that stuff is right in here. And the mat, you can take that out and throw it on the ground. Very well made. And see, that saddle racks for two. Blanket bars for two. A little easier from the outside. Yeah, it's on a strut. Yeah, it's probably where you're supposed to grab it. Yeah, it's an outside rack. You're supposed to pull it in from, from standing it's down here. In, yeah. You got all your brush bars. But yeah. Nice, big tack room. I should measure that door, but it looks almost like a four footer. You can carry a big saddle in that puppy. Nice, nice little three foot, nice yeah. Rig. Yes, it is. And these pull really well, too. I mean, you know, we're only rated to a 4,000 with the Cicadia, but yeah. these are one of the best pulling traders out there. And a bumper pull is a Cimarron. It's all the way they do the angle and the way they do the floor. And the angle of the hitch and where it all attaches, but they've done a really good job for it being an easy to tow trailer. And that shows up where I'm getting, you know, 12 miles to the gallon. A lot of these rigs pulling any kind of trailer will be getting down to nine, so it kind of reflects on how good the trailer is and, you know, how good the GMC Acadia is. Thunder! I hear thunder! Let's get the flock out of here! are up in the mountains, Kelsey. We are. We've made it. Yeah. <laughs> so all these big, tall things are next to us. But this is the Acadia. It's a 2018. And it is an SLT2. And SLT is kind of a loaded model. And then I guess the two, I'm not sure. I haven't figured it out yet. But this one, I've been driving it for a week. And we're towing a, a Cimarron horse trailer. Because this is only rated to tow 4,000 pounds with the V6. That's, that's a 3.6 V6. The four cylinder is only rated to 1,000 pounds. And so here we are up in the high country. And you know, it's not super powerful. It's not. And it goes not to with a, a, Not with a trailer, <laughs> at least. Not with a trailer, yeah. And try right, because you because now I've got you in tow haul mode. We can go to sport mode and see what that does coming down <laughs> because it might soup it up, you know. Tow haul mode holds your RPMs a little longer, so it's supposed to hold speed. And we'll see about grade shifting with it. This has a lot of modes too. It looks like it's got a snow and a sand and a race and all kinds of stuff. We'll go through those. But this is actually pretty well equipped. I like this one here. I mean, I like the Denali, of course. This is one step down. The windshield's a little close, man. Notice the other day I was really driving close. it, and the sun was really coming in on my knuckles. Well, that it seems it's it's short. It's guess, not. Yeah, that's it's, the configuration I think of the crossovers. Is this wedge shape? This is, you know, they got, they can get them seat belts for seven or seat belts for six. This is six and it has four captain's chairs. And those really come for me. And this is like set inside a Colorado or a canyon. So it's, it's a very similar scene and I'm comfortable in it. I mean, this is as small as I would like to go. Well, hear that V6 purr. Yeah. I like it in the it's dash of the tail when it's in way. four something. <laughs> yeah. You got to chase all the Subarus around up here. But it's a good place to go in a hot, this is a long, hot summer in Colorado. I'm so hot and bright. And get up here and cool off, eat some it's ice cream. It's been nice in the mountains. Yeah, well, you're, you're close enough that it's probably you get those cool breezes coming down in your, your area. Nice yeah. Stay for a ride up here. A lot of motorcycles. This is where I'd be if I had a, I got rid of all my motorcycles. Now I'm into the ATV side by side thing. A while, so I've been on a horse too. We're pulling horse trader. We should have loaded the horse at your house. I thought horse. about that and I forgot about it. If I thought about it, that'd be fun. I don't know. That's quite a small horse trailer you got there. Well, it's well, I don't know. It's it's uh, <laughs> it's probably six and a half feet wide. It looks like it's got nine inch fenders. A little standard two horse. Yeah. Well, how wide is your trailer? Uh, we're back to seven and a half, eight feet. Oh, really? It's a stock trailer. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, this is a slant load, so you got pretty good. I don't know if it's 40 inch stalls or what it is, but it's pretty good. It's a Cimarron, it's a piece of art. I love it. 
this is a six speed. It's got your it's got manual shifting if you want it. Heated seats. We got the uh, lane departure gizmo on. Which I'm getting used to that. Lane departure always used to upset me because it tries to steer for you. <laughs> and this will steer you a little and it'll wake you up, but now I think it's probably good for an old man to have so he doesn't drive off the road or hit somebody. But you can't shut him off, so I'm, I'm not against it anymore. I'm kind of used to it, but yeah, if I start getting crazy, I will shut it off. I almost forgot how much you like the high speed corners up here in the mountains. <laughs> <laughs> I drive them a lot. I'm comfortable you are, driving. You are. You're a driver for sure. And that trailer, you know, I don't want to wait in the Shibuya because it's under 3,000 pounds. But it's not swaying. It's not no, catering. It's not, it's not, yeah, it's it's not, not having a single problem back there. No, I think you're doing good. And this one is not, a, since it's not a wide truck, the mirrors can't be wide. Yeah, they're squatty little mirrors. Yeah, so you got to whip it a little bit to see behind you. But I actually, on a six and a half foot trailer, I can actually do pretty well. If you can see what you want to see, but I was going to put the aftermarket mirrors on, but I actually am comfortable with these. You know, I can see my fenders, I can see where I'm at on the road, it's normally all right. Yeah, yeah. But this this car, this truck, this SUV, it's got a bunch of little tires on it. I like this. It's pretty loaded. How much is. MSRP on the MSRP it? is $48,445, dollars Now this one, it's rated right on the highway 25 miles a gallon. Okay. It's like one We're less than what the Denali would be, or the um, 12.7 flying up this hill. Yeah, this and so actually that's pretty good for a trailer. I'd see it drop down to 13, uh, which is what it shows. Yeah, it's 12.4. So that's... Pulling a trailer, you know, three that's almost capacity. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's pretty good grades up here going to Estes. But the, uh, and just driving around town uh, without a trailer, I was getting 21. Okay. So that's not bad. Because this is 20 combined, is what the EPA rates at 17 in the city and 25 on the highway. But the SLT2, and it's an all wheel drive. Now, it's, it's four-wheel independent suspension. It's like front-wheel drive until you need four-wheel drive. And then you get much lock up the, the transfer case because it's, it shows on there two-wheel drive on the knob, and it shows four, and it shows all these modes and, and all that. So I don't know. I'm sure it automatically goes into four-wheel drive. I guess you could lock it in if you were, thought that was better. And see, I like that option when you're on, like, a lot of snow and ice. I like to be able to decide when it locks in. The automatic is nice for most situations where you won't even know it's icy. It helps you, but in places where I know I'm sitting on snow, I like to be able to lock it Turn in and it have it stay down. on. Yeah, and have it stay on so it's not going back and forth. So I think going back and forth in and out of four-wheel drive to two-wheel drive can cause some sway issues, so I really just leave it in four-wheel drive. That's, that's my theory. I bet everybody's in there buying the Cherry cider. Parking lot looks, looks full. It is yeah. full today. Doggone tourist. God <laughs> bless them. We need them in Colorado. We can't just live on our taxes on the pot, you know. Yeah. Which who knows where that money goes to. That's yeah, supposed to all help us as a state, but I think it's going some weird place. I don't know where it's going. Yeah, it's supposed to go to schools. It's supposed to go to all this Road, stuff. Schools. Because you know, it helped Colorado during the recession. We didn't have a bad problem because they had all that marijuana tax money. But now I don't know where it's going. It's like all those things, lottery and everything. You know, oh yeah, it's going to go to some great purpose. And then who knows where it's <laughs> I want to see an accounting of where all this money's coming from the lottery and from the marijuana tax. We'll never see it. Oh, I mean, you know, with that much money, we should have all brand new roads everywhere. We should have a swimming pool in every yard. I don't know. Those are high hopes. And swimming pools actually decrease values of homes. They so, do. I know, it's, I know no the insurance goes up. No swimming pool? No swimming pools. Uh, okay. My house had one. Did it? And before, well, you know, decades before we got into it. So they they buried it. Because, mm -hmm. you know, it is an expensive thing. And keep it heated. And when the kids grow up, go to college, what are you going to do? You and the old lady stare at the water every day, I guess. So I've had swimming pools, too. And they are they are maintenance nightmare. We ended up putting fish in them and ducks in them. <laughs> Being in a pond? Yeah. 
turn them into a pond. It is, like I say, a pretty well equipped. Just trying to figure out what is special on it. There's the love XM radio. And where's the options? Show me the options. It's got dual skyscape sunroofs. So there is two holes back there. Mm -hmm. It's not a they're giant little sunroof. Sun yeah, they're little sunroofs. Which I guess yeah, that's so. okay. And if they both open, that's kind of nice. Because I know my daughter in the back seat. I was always, open it, mom, open it. Yeah. It's got little tiny running boards on it. It does have itty bitty little Yeah, there. and that's what I've noticed about like the, the, the canyon. They're kind of in the way because when you step on, you step above the truck and you got to climb back down. I, <laughs> for me, these are a little off the ground. I mean, I'm on 5A, but I can step into the truck. I don't need the running boards, but I guess there are people shorter than buying these. This is called a crimson red tent coat. Is that what that says? Usually it's supposed to be. Uh, that uh, clear coat, we gotta call it a tent <laughs> coat, whatever that is. Wow, the navigation of this costs almost 500 bucks, which I like those, but that's kind of a normal normal package. Floor mats, all weather front and rear floor mats. You know, we have navigation in my truck, and I don't think I've ever used it. Really? No. Well, yeah, me and the phone, I mean, I used to have whatever that first one was called in the old days. We had a system we put in everything. And Garmin? The Garmin, yeah. Now those kind of gone away from my head, but now they're doing cameras and all kinds of stuff to try to keep part of the market. But I saw the phone. Atlas underneath my seat. Oh, dear. If we need something, an we atlas. pull it out. Yes. Oh, that's like paper. Yes, paper. <laughs> <laughs> well, these. <laughs> I bet you I have an app on my phone that would probably do it for me faster. Well, but yeah, that's why I've got two apps on my phone. That's really what I use. That's all yeah. I use. I don't bother punching in an address. I just talk to. Them. It's finding me Kelsey's house and it tells you where to turn. It doesn't actually work like that, guys. Sorry. Oh, it doesn't? No. <laughs> uh, well, it does have leather seats. You got an eight-way power seat over there. I so do. Up and down and all around. Well, I moved it up because it, I didn't feel like I could see the front of the vehicle. Yeah. It's got kind of like a slope dash up and then it goes down. Yeah, yeah, it is. We're almost setting level with it, which has got a nice slope to the hood. But I don't understand black interiors. This has got a black <laughs> interior. But man, is it hot it when you climb into it. It's 90 degrees out. It is hot. I would never buy a black interior, but I'm sure you got choices on that. Mine's got a black interior. I yeah, just started you got a black before we truck. Turn. Oh my gosh. Just a little bit of pre planning, starting before we get in. Well, black trucks also have all that maintenance on the outside. You got to wax them puppies. Because oh. your neighbors a mile away can water their lawn, and you'll get spots on that black truck. We got it ceramic coated, so. Oh, yeah, you guys just do a little better we job. Cheated a little. We cheated yeah, a little. We cheated a little. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a good thing because that black to me means high maintenance. And if you got somebody that does that for you or it's your first truck, you can put up with that. But. Yep. And then white. Well, you got a lot of chrome on your truck, too. And the black and chrome is probably the best combination when it's clean. And it looks pretty. It is. <laughs> this is just truck's got nice wheels on it. As I mentioned the tires. I know what size they are. I should actually look them up because I'm sure they're like an all season. Wow, for that first 60,000 miles, I'll rotate your tires on this thing and oh. change your oil filters. Wow. Okay, it's a cool stuff. Service included? All right. Yep. This does have a trailering package, but... You only get 4,000 pounds out of it. Yeah, and I have not found a brake controller, so I don't know if that's an option or not. See, three of the, yeah, it's 3,000 pounds where you're required to have brakes on your trailer. It's 5,000 pounds where you're required to use weight distributing inch. But what was I supposed to look up? The wheel size. Oh, the wheel size, yes. I know, it's in here somewhere. <laughs> Gotta bring my magnifying glass. Oh, oh, these are 20 inch aluminum oh, wheels. No. Holy, got 20 inch. There's no tire on yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, I, I, yeah, yeah, little tiny. It's like, well, I can start singing rap music whenever I got 20 inch tires. I just feel like rapping. Is that what John Denver used to do? I've seen some John Denver songs. <laughs> this has definitely got to be a rap, a rap SUV. It's definitely more of a... I, I wouldn't call it like the big and SUV. Like they can haul the trailers. Yeah. Like... 
Oh, it's more of a dainty. If you've got a small pop-up and you guys want to go camping, I bet you'd do it. It's got the awesome four-wheel drive. It's a good all-weather vehicle, but yeah. I'm not saying go out and four-wheel with this or grab a trailer and haul with it every day. Stuff right, like that. you're right. And it's, it's made for the lighter use. Yeah. Exactly. Well, they're, uh, and, you know, with the 36, same sure the same 36 is in the canyon. And they're towed, you know, with their eight speed, they can rate those all the way up to the 342 rear end. They can rate those to tow 7,000 pounds. And the diesel is like 7,700 pounds. But this is rated 4,000 pounds. But the rear end on this is only a 316. Okay. So that's yeah. fuel mileage axles, what that is. But it's, it's meant more economic than it is to be yeah. used and abused. Right. But you figure with the extra seats and all the extra things they put inside this. Is heavier than what a bed would be, so you're actually going to have a lower towing capacity. But it's a quiet, quiet little burger. I like it. Well, and when it drops down to that four cylinder, you really can't hear it at all. Yeah, yeah. Look so if you're in sure Kansas, you could probably get yeah. 25 miles a gallon whenever you're there. Kansas, Nebraska, and all those flat, yeah. easy to go through states. Yeah. Oh, it's got all good crash ratings for the frontal. Rate. It's got rollovers only four, but I mean, it's like five except for the passenger. I who cares about the passenger? The driver's five. The overall vehicle score is five. That's, that's good. nice. That's a good crash rating. As long as nobody's in the passenger seat, we'll be all right. You have to sit in the back, Ken. Well, it's four stars. Part of him will survive. Part of him. <laughs> four fifths will survive. Yeah. They do have the cool lot, the hot spots of these, the high Wi-Fi. My granddaughters love that. They get in there and start hitting on all their phones. <laughs> They're just happy. But there certainly is a lot of features on this besides the heated seats. It's got everything on there. I want to we'll show you the button on that hatch. Of you got buttons that flip it open. you got buttons underneath the handle to flip it open. But it's got three settings for how much the hatch opens. Really? Yeah. So if you, guess if you don't want the kids to fall out, you put it down <laughs> to number one. If you, Yeah. It's, so it's some of these groceries don't fall out or you don't hit the car that's behind you because you parked too close or anything like that, right? Yeah. That's true. That's very true. And, you know, you know you're going to demonstrate how those third row seats work because they're really cool. You know, the, head, the headdress folds down and they fold forward. And nice, it's got simple, easy cutties. button. Yeah, it's a very nice. useful vehicle. It's, it's a big utility. It's a lot of places to hide stuff and stash stuff and haul stuff. And, you know, it's... Uh, and this one, you know, it has... It's like all these fancy SUVs. They put plates over the hitches so you don't see them. And some of General Motors, you have a heck of a time with just pliers and screwdrivers getting that thing off there. Yeah, it just popped out. Yeah, and this one, yeah. It's got little hand, thumb tabs on, on the outside nice. and they're burying it in there. So I was tickled. I didn't get on my knees on this one to take the cover off, so I could hook the trailer up. But, and it was easy to hook up the trailer. The chain holes were kind of small, but... That's standard on a smaller SUV. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's not use a smaller safety changer, right? That's how that works. Yeah, that thing wraps up. You get a little bit of grumble on the old V6. Yeah, you can hear it when I uh, floor it. There's a lot of leg room back there, actually. Is this there? is for the size of it. I think this is very roomy. How long is it? Do you know? How long is yeah. it? Do you think I know this stuff? No, I don't. <laughs> it's not it, there? No, it would take another hour of research on the internet. <laughs> it's just like finding toy. And I was looking through all their... their Stats. Uh, yeah, all their stuff on GM and everybody else's. Trying to find the S2 package was... Yeah, I found the S2, but a lot of times I was in their fleet section too. Usually the fleet will give you information, but I couldn't find out much more. I couldn't find out... If, any, if all wheel drive changes the configuration of how much trader you can tell, I couldn't find out anything. You about have to hire a professor to, you know, somebody to hack into the computer just to get all the right stats. Tons of pickup truck questions, right? Right. Where do we go for the answers? We go to the Truck Nuts book. Because we're Truck Nuts. <laughs> and we wrote the book, Truck Nuts. We're nuts about truck. The ultimate guy to buy a truck or yep. to look at a truck or judge at a truck. You know, whether it's diesel versus gas, new versus used, what your teenagers should learn about trucks, 
all that. You do all kinds of cool tests. Yeah, we do a lot of testing. We do the Ike Gauntlet, world's toughest towing test up the mountain and down the mountain. We do MPG testing on the highway, loaded with trailers. Yeah. We do off-road testing. A lot of that data is in this book as well, and it's a one-stop shop for truck information. That's true. We test trucks maximum capacity up to biggest grades you can do on the interstate. Yep. So we really put them to the test. And, you know, you can get all the facts you can't find anywhere else. We do MPG tests, which you can't find on any sticker anywhere. So, you know, all that stuff that you can't find is in the book. And you can find the book at trucknutsbook.com. There are links to Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and all the other bookstores as well. So read about your truck nuts. <laughs>